What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Douglas M. And what I'm going to do is a quick video showing you how to use your 4K HDR surround sound Yamaha receiver with your PlayStation Pro or your Xbox One S or One X. Um, including myself, I, I know a lot of people online have had problems going through their Yamaha receiver getting... 4K HDR, the HDR part was missing. And I'm gonna show you how to solve that right now. Now, unfortunately, with this Yamaha receiver, we can't go through the menus on screen with the remote to fix this. This is, you have to do it just like this manually while the, um, with the receiver off, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So all you're gonna do is hold, hold down straight, and power. That's going to bring up a menu. Advanced setup. You can only get to advanced setup by doing this. You cannot get it by any of the remote functions on screen. You can't get there, which is silly, but it is what it is. So now we're going to hit program. And by the way, you can do um, uh, updates to your receiver this way. But you see it says 4K mode right there. It says two. Yours probably says one. So you would want to hit straight to change it to one. Or change it to two. Whatever it's at, change it. So if it's at one, change it to two. If it's at two, change it to one. But it probably is at one and you're going to change it to two. So you just hit straight one time and then that's it. Then you're going to hit power. And then it's done. Turn on TV. Okay. Just for fun, guys, I'm going to show you how it looks on my PlayStation 4 when I run the, um, show you the video settings. All right, so we're going to go to the top. We're going to go to settings. And where, where do we go? We go to sound and screen, video, outputs. You see? So can you guys see it? Let me zoom in a little better. The resolution got automatic. RGB automatic, HDR automatic, adjust. Okay. But we want to go to video output. This is going to show us. And you see there? HDR supported. Available frequencies for 4K output. Now, it's this, it says certain frequencies are not using HDR, but it says it could be my TV. Now, my Samsung TV is a little bit old. It does have HDR, but I got this in 2017, so maybe I need a new TV. But it is, re it is supporting HDR, as you see right there. Now, as far as your TV is concerned, there's one setting that you must do for your TV. So I'm going to go into my TV settings right now. I haven't done this in so long, guys. Settings, okay. So you want to go to picture. So let's go to picture. I got it in game mode. Now I'm going to go to expert settings. Now this might be different on your TV. But one thing you want to make sure for sure that's on is HDMI UHD color. Make sure that that is on. I'm going through HDMI 1. That's the only um, HDMI that I have. So HDMI 1 is coming to my receiver. All right. So that's what you need to ensure that you're getting HDR. I'll let you see some of my settings as well. Those are my 
options. I don't have HDMI plus mode on because the picture just didn't look as good. And then plus when I did that, it didn't change what the PlayStation 4 was saying. It still said what it said earlier. So anyway, that was the gist of my video, guys. So I hope that helped. You can click off now and um, yeah. But I'm going to go into overtime and just talk about a little or some things. Now, technically, you can, um, you could have just went from your, you could have took an HDMI to the main of your receiver and then did an optical cord from your TV to your receiver and then plugged the PS4 Pro directly to your TV and bypass the HDMI's and then you would just listen to the sound on that AV I think it's AV4 or whatever you'll figure that out you could do it that way but you have spent so much on your receiver you spent two three four five hundred dollars why do that you could easily bypass it and get it done that's what I did before with the previous receiver I had I had an older Yamaha and that's what I did but when I bought this one, I said, no, 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 no. I spent, you know, three, four hundred dollars. I want to go through my receiver this time for sure. So that's one way you can do it. If, if it's if you're still having problems. And finally, a quick little rant to Yamaha. I'm not sure why, um, you know. In, you know, as far as 2018, because I think I got my Pro, PlayStation Pro in 2017. I'm not sure why in 2018 and to now, we're in 2020 now. I don't know why we're not getting that update. It, the receiver should automatically do that. I shouldn't have to manually do anything. That I mean, PlayStation's been out for what, what almost, what, seven years? Well, the Pro's been out for at least five years. Come on. Do the update. It, that should automatically happen. I shouldn't have to do any work around. It should just automatically pick it up. I'm sure other receivers don't have this issue. I, I'm, I'm assuming. But I love Yamaha. I'm not going to switch. I'm just, just saying. This seems like a quick update. Or at least something that um, can be done through the menus of the TV. Uh, I mean, the menus of the receiver. Or the on-screen uh, menu prompts and stuff. So if, if you didn't know how to do it manually, then you would never know how to do it. You would, you would just assume that your receiver doesn't work with the uh, PlayStation 4 Pro. And that's just not the case. So again, I hope this video helped. And um, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. And we out.